Welcome back, it's Monday and we are back with another recipe. This week we're tackling humongous mince pies. With December round the corner and a little treat up our sleeve, we're gonna hit it with homemade mince meat, stunning sweet pastry and a little bit of a twist. Let's get it. Now, sweet pastries. We've got short pastry, sweet pastry, puff pastries. Sweet pastry to me is a pastry using egg yolk and sugar. You cream and beat that together with a little bit of warm butter. Now, I'm not talking warm melting. I'm talking warm, room temperature, soft and pliable. Emulsified and pressed and whipped together. Once we've got the egg, the sugar and the butter together, we add our flour. Now we want to cut this into the mixture that's in the bowl already. We want to spin the bowl slightly as you start to turn these two separate things into one crumble. And you don't want to mix your pastry too much. Now the flour's in, the gluten is starting to activate. If you beat and press your dough too much, it's going to become tough. You want this pastry sweet, short, buttery and crumbly. Get it out onto the bench and we just knead it. We're turning it over and pushing it back into itself. Instead of rolling in flour, we're going to roll it between cling film. We take our cling film down onto the bench, pastry on top, cling film over the top of that and you roll. So once you've got your two sheets rolled out, you stick them onto a metal tray and they'll go straight into the fridge. Mince me, what is it? Traditionally, it was a spiced, sweetened, minced meat. It actually had meat in it. The offcuts of the cow were ground or cut down, mixed with spices, fruits and sugar, and then turned into these sweet meat pies. We've done away with the meat and we've replaced it with a little bit more suet. It's in all good suet pastries, all good puddings. They have that kind of luxurious note about them. And that's what we add to the minced meat. So we take currants, sultanas, into a bowl. You wanna hit that with your brandy or your rum. We've used rum, leave that to soak for an hour, then you strain off the rum and you mix those plump soaked fruits with suet, sugar, a little bit of grated apple, and then you mix that rum back in there. That can sit in your fridge happily for up to six months. We did that a week ago and we're here today with the steeped finished product. Mince pies, little ones, big ones, the mise en place for this is gonna be exactly the same. So if you wanna make little mince pies, you just use a little mold. If you wanna make a big hoofing mince pie to bring out and put in the middle of your table, which I think is better. So this is our pastry in between cling film, beautifully rolled out, exactly the same recipe as we started with. And I didn't have any flour all over the bench. It wasn't all over my hands. You know, you're in, the, you're in the kitchen, the phone goes, you can't pick up the phone because your cans are covered in flour. It's a cleaner, it's a nicer affair in my eyes. This is a pie tin, non-stick. Do I trust them? No, I don't. I love spray oil. I do. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray. Just with some oil, very gently around. And then the cartouche will go at the bottom of the dish. So our pastry, I've taken off the top layer of cling film, obviously, because I don't want a layer of cling film underneath the tart. And I'm just gonna lay that over the tin. And then I just crimp and I push because of the cling film and you haven't added any excess moisture or any excess flour. You can use the cling film to press the pastry up against the tart case. And the reason we're showing you this because it's the versatility of that recipe. The versatility of not adding more flour so it turns into a dry mess. Now, the walls are strong, any cracks or rips have been sort of molded back together. And that's what you can do with your cling film and a recipe like this. At the top of the lid, it looks a little bit like it's hanging over the top, like it's a little bit messy, but you need that to bind the pie lid to that base. So now we're just gonna get our minced meat and fill it up. Just for an extra bit of fragrance, I'm gonna give it a wrap or two of orange zest and a good hit of nutmeg. Now, our pie lid, our pastry up, and that just goes straight over. We just press together the sides, link in that pastry that's already there and creating that join. We lift our cling film and then slice off the excess. So now we're all encased, it's completely sealed. Our minced meat is stacked up in there to the brim. We're gonna put that in the fridge just to rest up for a little bit. And because this pastry has no flour on it, I will reiterate that. I can roll it all back together 
and put it onto another sheet. You can keep that back in your freezer for when you next need it, or what you can do is take your excess pastry, roll it back out, and then make a few decorations. We're gonna do a little bit of holly, because it's nearly Christmas, but you can do a reindeer, you can do Santa, you can do a Santa face, get your kids involved. We're gonna cover this with an egg wash, which is just one egg, give it a good beat, and we lightly brush that over the top of the pie. Add your decoration of choice, a good sprinkle of caster sugar, and that goes straight into the oven. Some time has passed, we are back. Our pie is adequately cooled, cool to the touch, completely cold. No warm spots in the middle. This has been resting for about six to seven hours. Now we're just gonna turn it out. Moment of truth. So once you've turned it out, you wanna get it back the right way up. So to do that, we're gonna take another tray and then flip it back over. So that's it, job done. Stunning mince pie, completely homemade. We've got the mince in there, the rum, the fruit, the sugar, all that grated apple, the stunning, super short, sweet pastry. I'm gonna slice that up and have a cup of tea. And that's it, a proper wedge of mince pie. Ah, thank you all. Got it in between cling film and these big like bus driver. You can also, you can also break it and drop it and move it around. It will stick back together. 